Hey everyone, welcome to another session of Sarazzle Dazzle Physics. In today's session, we're going to be talking about power. So, what exactly is power? Well, let's look at the following scenario to get an understanding of it. Let's say we have two people running a race. They both start the race with 100 joules inside them. Yes, so they both start the race with 100 joules inside them. The first one completes the race and he loses all the energy. Yeah? The second one also completes the race and they also lose all their energy. So they start off with 100 each, and then at the end of the race, they've lost all their energy. But the first one completes the race in 10 seconds. Yeah? The second one completes the race in 100 seconds. Right, now here is the question. Which one do you think is the most powerful? Which one is it? Think about it. Which one do you think? Which one do you think is the most powerful? Right, so the answer is... The first one. Why? Why is it the most powerful? Have a look. What did it do to the energy? It transferred the energy at the fastest rate. So the first one is the most powerful. The reason why it transferred energy at the fastest rate. OK, so we have concluded that the first one is more powerful. The reason why is because it transferred energy in the shortest amount of time. Or you can say it transferred energy at a higher rate. OK with that? Right, so this is going to lead us to our definition of what power actually is. Let's scroll down for the definition. So, OK, so power is equal to the rate at which energy is transferred. And in terms of a formula, we can write down power is equal to energy divided by the time. Wonderful. Right, and in terms of symbols, power, that can be denoted by P. Energy is going to be E divided by time, which is T. Right, so every time we have an equation, we must also talk about the units. So energy is measured in joules. Time is measured in seconds. And power is measured in watts. Think about a light bulb. It's either 100 watt, 20 watts. So light bulbs are measured in watts as well. So let's put it right down to watts for power. Yeah, so those units, in case you haven't seen them, power is measured in watts. Right, so power is equal to the rate at which energy is transferred. Power is equal to energy over time. P is equal to E divided by T. Energy in joules, time in seconds, power in watts. And we're good to go for our first example. Let's do it. Example one. A bulb gives off 200 joules of light in two minutes. Calculate the power. So a bulb gives off 200 joules of light energy in two minutes. Calculate the power. Step number one, write down the equation. So we know that power is equal to energy divided by the time taken. Yeah? The energy, what is the energy? It is 200 joules. So let's put that down. So power over here. There we go. The energy is 200 joules. Yeah, I got 200 from the top. The time, careful. Right, what is the time? Is it two? Is it two minutes? Well, no. We can't use minutes because the formula needs to be in seconds. So we must convert the two minutes into seconds. So how many seconds are there in two minutes? So in so it's going to be 60 times by 2. Therefore, it's 120 seconds. That's going to be two minutes. Yeah. So two minutes is going to be 60 times by 2 is 120 seconds. Therefore, plugging it in, 200 divided by 120 is going to be our answer. So let's take out a calculator. So 200 divided by 120 equals 1.67. And the units of power we know are going to be capital W for watts. Simple stuff. OK, let's move on to example number two. OK, so example number two. The power of a toy car is 20 watts. If it is used for five seconds, how much energy is transferred? Yeah, so let's draw my little car out here. Wonderful. Look, GCSE art. That's my car. All done. Right, so if you're asked to work out the energy, we've got to rearrange that formula. So let's write it down. Power is equal to change color pen. Let's go. So we have power is equal to energy over time. Yes, I'm trying to work out the energy transferred. So I need to work out the energy. I've got to make E the subject of the formula. So Moving the T up, energy is equal to the power multiplied by the time. 
Yes, moving the T up there, mathematics, check your math skills. Then the power is what? The power is 20 watts. Oh, that was a joke, yes. Power is what? And the time is 5 seconds. So let's plug them all in. So the power is going to be 20 watts times by the time, 5 seconds. So 20 times by 5, it's going to be 100, and no unit, no mark, 100 joules. Wonderful. So energy is equal to power times by time, 20 times by 5, it's 100. Superb stuff. Right, let's have a recap from the start of today's lesson of what we've actually done here. So, we gave you the scenario of two runners running a race, and they both deplete the energy as they do it. One transfers the energy at a higher rate than the other. Yes? So, if you transfer energy at a higher rate, you have a higher power. So, power is equal to the rate at which energy is transferred. Yeah, so power is equal to energy divided by time. Oh, and sometimes, guys, you might see this formula in a slight alteration. It will also be equal to the work done. Whoops. So the work done divided by the time. Why? Because work done is the same as energy. So in your formula booklet, you might see that as well. Energy Power is equal to energy over time, which is the same as work done divided by time. And obviously, work done is still measured in joules. So power is equal to the rate at which energy is transferred. P is equal to E divided by T, where energy is measured in joules, time in seconds, power in watts. Scrolling down is our first example, which is a simple calculation. We worked out the power of it, plugging them into the equation. Then we did one more example just to build up our confidence in which we had to rearrange the equation. And that's it for today's session. I shall see you next time for more cool physics. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Goodbye.